Here are three mechanics in Mortal Kombat, one that no one really talks about, no one really knows about, and the game doesn't do a really good job at explaining them to you. So what are they? How do they work? How do you utilize them? These questions answered and more, so let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more fighting game content. Let's talk about these mechanics that no one else is. The first one is called the uppercut cancel. And the reason why no one really talks about it is one, it costs two bars, so it's pretty expensive. Like why would you waste two bars on something that's like not really that useful? So first I'll show you how it looks like this. So you see there our opponent went for a grab, we punish them and that's key because this does have to be off of a punish move. So if you punish your opponent with an uppercut, you can press up and R1 together. That slows down time for a quick second as you saw. It uses two bars though, but it propels you in the air and allows you to continue the combo in the air like that. Personally, I think it's really only worth it if you're gonna win the game with it, but I don't really think two bars is worth it. Plus Chameleon as a cameo offers the same idea using Katana's airlift move for one cameo bar but you get the same effect like this like i said same thing same effect only one cameo bar so way less expensive so there's another way to do it in the game so the uppercut cancel mechanic you're not gonna see it that often no one really talks about it. no one really uses it if they do know about it i don't really use it but it is a mechanic not a lot of people know about the next mechanic we're going to talk about is called up block as we all know there's normal blocking as there is in every fighting game ever made but there's a new one in mortal kombat 1 called the up block where it's specifically made to block overheads and every jump and attack is an overhead so you can do this for a lot of moves in strings for certain characters like raven's cartwheel kick yes but it works really well on jump in let me show you how it looks and i'll explain Okay, so what you saw there was our opponent jumping in. I knew, okay, overhead's coming. You saw Raiden raise his hand, so he wasn't normal blocking, he was now up blocking. The up block then connects the block, and to put it simply, essentially just shuts your opponent down right then and there, makes them unsafe, allowing you to instantly punish, and of course, go for your combo, go for your pressure. Doesn't cost you any resources, however, the up block mechanic does have recovery frames in of itself. You can't really feel it all the time, but it is there on recovery, so if your opponent calls it, they can actually punish you by going for the low before where you can actually block the low. Not only that, but if you up block and your opponent grabs you, you get a throw punish and it does way more damage. So yeah, they can be punished pretty hard, but it's a great utility for you to punish your opponent really hard if you land it. And again, that's just holding block and then pressing up. And you can't hold it forever. Keep that in mind. It does go back down after a certain time. So you do kind of have to time it right. It takes a little bit you used to, but once you master the up block, you're going to be a menace. Now this next mechanic is another mechanic that not a lot of people really know about, but it's in every match you play. You probably just don't notice it it's called last breath let me explain what last breath actually is as you see down there we have three bars to use for enhancing our moves for using for a breaker stuff like that but if you're on the last round so this this is not a thing for like you know round one or whatever has to be match hit you have to be blocking for this to actually take effect so this is in regards to chip damage so to show you some numbers our opponent has 10 health left our uppercut blocked does 21 damage even when blocked so chip damage on an uppercut is 20 damage so if you're fighting your opponent and you see okay they have 10 health left even if they block my next uppercut i'm gonna win the match however last breath will actually use one of your bars so if you have all three this can happen technically three times it'll use one of your bars and save you from dying it'll put you at like 0.1 percent health but you won't actually die so let's say it does let's say you're at 0.1 percent health and i see okay they have 0.1 percent health left I'm gonna do another uppercut and then if they block it, they're gonna die. If you have two bars, it'll just save you again. If you have one bar, it'll save you again. But as soon as you have no bars to help you, that chip damage will kill you. And what really sucks is characters like Baraka or Raiden, characters that have really fast multi-hitting moves can absolutely drain all three bars during your last breath mechanic and then still kill you off chip damage and you can't do anything about it. Like Raiden's Storm Cell move hits you five times. So essentially it'll take all three bars away, hit you on chip damage and then still kill you. This is not an input. This is an automatic thing. It's just part of the game. So if you've ever been super low on health, it's the match point, it's the match hit even, and you swear you had a bar and you got hit and you went to go do an enhanced armored move or something like that and you couldn't enhance it because you had no bars, well, that's where your bar went. Okay, you see right here, prime example, our opponent is at seven health. This is a real match. They're at seven health. They have three bars. So if we do an uppercut right now, Last chip oh. yeah. damage avoided. You saw that they have two bars now. So let's just do it again. Okay, chip damage avoided. They have one more last breath chance. And you see there, their health did go down to 0.1% health. Let's do it again. 
last breath they have nothing else to work with so even an uppercut even when blocked will kill our opponent like this <laughs> Did you learn something today? Let me know your thoughts down below on these mechanics. Do you like them? Do you hate them? The uppercut cancel, the up block, and of course the last breath mechanic. Do you think some of them are worth it? Let me know your thoughts. And if you want to check out individual breakdowns of these mechanics, check out the videos here or my playlist right here. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take it one step at a time.